OK, there you go. There's Lockie Taylor, Nick Ryan as well, trainer of Munamek, who'd legged up D Oliver for his last ever race ride. Looking at the market, $5.50, the three-year-old ripcord. $5.50 and hasn't really moved all that much in the betting. We'll go to the very top, $5.50 for Munamek. So $6.50 in now, and there's a couple of waves of backing also. Dom to shoot. Last week's northerly winner, nine. Valor Road, who won this race two years ago, $8. Basel of the Railway winner, around $9. Comfort Me, $7.50. And ran a slasher in this race last year. Nine for Ayrton. And uh, that's about the market as far as the main chances are concerned in the Damien Oliver Gold Rush. En route to the start, let's go to Michael, who's down there in and amongst a monster of a crowd in the yard. Oh, it's mayhem down here, to be honest, Darren. There are people absolutely everywhere. The vibe, I cannot remember one like this, uh, perhaps since the Quokka, when uh, the first running of the Quokka earlier this year, when it was just really exciting scenes. But this, for all different reasons, I can, cannot wait for this. The numbers I've settled on, though, 3, 16, 10 and 2. I'm with Bustler. I think he looks fantastic off the seven-day turnaround, and he's a horse that should appreciate dropping back to 1,400 metres. I know it's a shocking gate on paper, but I think this will be a three-wide moving line race, and if Stevie Parnham can blend into the three-wide line, I think he can win this race at uh, good each-way odds. So three Bustler for me from 16 Ripcord. He looks absolutely incredible. He's a real serious horse, a very nice type, but he steps to 1,400 metres for the first time and getting a little bit short in the market now. 10 Ayrton, first time I've seen him. He's a really nice Nice, big, strong type of a horse. And two, Valor Road. Looks as good as any of them, <coughs> but no idea where he gets in the run if he's unable to get to the breeze from the outside gate. Cracking race, Darren. 3, 16, 10 and 2. Looking for Bustler to make it his second $1.5 million race win of his prep. He has had a wonderful spring indeed. Thanks, Michael. Well, we've come to the last. They've saved the best for it. We're right on the advertised starting time. They will go just a little bit behind schedule. My Bella May still making her way around there to join the other 15 to do battle in this extraordinary rush for gold on what so far has been an extraordinary day. Will it continue? Stay with us. We'll find out shortly. So ripcord to move in. Resort man comfort me as my Bella May just uh, saunters around there to the start. Up goes Comfort Me, Resort Man, to join the line. And Munamek. They're starting to move them up into the gates. The Damien Oliver Gold Rush. As Damien Lane takes Ayrton up towards its stall and goes in. Thanks, Al. Six or seven in the gates at the moment. Craig Williams riding Laver Rod with a royal blue cap. Baby Paris, one of the mares, another of them, Carly Skarma, taking her place. The big chestnut with that white blaze. Massimo is also about to make his way there. Sprinting warrior from the Ganjemi Yard, his Laver Rod. Making its way there, Craig Williams earlier with a winner. Dom to shoot, red can man. Coming along now to Warriors of the Turf from the west. My Bella May remains out. So does Valor Road, speaking of Warriors. Won this race a couple of years ago. A great chance with even luck. There is no doubt to make it two victories in this race, which was formerly the AJ Scale Stakes before the renaming and rebranding and the massive prize money boost 12 months ago. Hot Z remaining out. Bustler, the railway winner. Baby Paris as well. As this huge crowd take up every vantage point in the grandstand. And they're seven deep around the mounting enclosure. Hoping, wanting, wishing for a Munamek D. Oliver victory. No mean task in this very good field. Now they bring along my Bella May. So she comes in and one of the gate attendants takes hold of Bustler. So the last few runners to make their way forward, they do include Bustler. 
and Max Roney, the gate attendant, great friend of Dee Oliver, has the honour of leading Damien in for his last ever race mount. He settles Munamek inside of the gates and Hot Z goes up and also parks itself inside the line. So the last to be brought forward will be Baby Paris. They're nearly set and ready to go. It's come to this. They're set for a start. The red light is on. The rush for gold is underway. Sava to excel. Won the start. Comfort me. Red can man away nicely. Oliver's going to go right back towards the tail end of the field, though, with Munamek at the early stages. Massimo went forward. Over on the inside, Nucky had Baby Paris prominent. Also right there, Carly's Karma. They're not going overly quickly. Ayrton found itself deep on the outside of the three-year-old ripcord. Then deeper on the course as well is Hot Z forced to cover additional ground. It's a muddlingly run race. On the rails, Laver Rod Resort Man, Dom to shoot now, Bellame inside of those, followed further back by at the head of the others, Munamek, who's third from last back there with Bustler. Last of all is Valor Road. Sava to excel, getting it very cheaply at the 600, led them more than a length the margin. Red Can Man, Ayrton has covered extra ground. Baby Paris beautifully placed on the fence, about to go. Over on the outside then, around them making ground is Comfort Me, working into it well, followed by Carly's Karma, Massimo, and Ripcord about to let rip as they'd set sail for the judge. And Munamek is trying to weave his way through the field. Red Can Man took Sava to excel. Ayrton under pressure. Comfort me. Oliver's getting through with Munamek. Ripcord's coming down the outside. Comfort me. Ripcord. It's Ripcord. Ripcord. And now Munamek. Munamek has got there. Oliver's got the run. The racing gods have spoken. It's gold, gold, gold at Ascot. Ollie goes out a winner in the gold rush. Second and third, Ripcord, comfort me. Bustler, Red Can Man, Laver Rod, Dom to shoot, Vela Road. Followed further back by Bellamy. They were followed by Resort Man, Sava to excel in Ayrton. Next home, Hot Z Massimo, Baby Paris and Carly's Karma. There will never be another day like it. <laughs> Extraordinary. Monomek, number four. Ridden by Damien Oliver for Nick Ryan, has won the gold rush. Second, 16, Ripcord, Clint Johnston Porter, Seven, comfort me, Sean McGrunty, third. Fourth, number three, Bustler. The fairy tale is complete. The racing gods have delivered the perfect script at Ascot Racecourse for the greatest of all time on a day he will never ever forget 122.75 35.19 to be at Ascot Racecourse on this day is something no one will ever forget a day etched in our memories as Oliver found a run it was as if the heavens had parted and what was meant to be was delivered. Munamek for trainer Nick Ryan. What a result for Nick. What an ovation Ascot is about to erupt. Back in the field, how he got through the congestion. It seemed a bit muddlingly run. He had all of them in front of him. He went where angels would fear to tread as Ripcord launched, but Munamek found the opening and with Damien riding on the crest of a wave, the last three winners on the last day, ladies and gentlemen, he has delivered the ultimate encore. As he makes his way back towards the yard, Lockie Taylor will join us in a few moments.
in scenes that will be unprecedented here at this racetrack. The boy from the back blocks of Byford makes it win 3,000. 189.